Aloha and welcome back to On Hawaii Time. If you are new to the channel, Ekomo Wai. Now today we're going to venture up into the beautiful Waimea Canyon. We're going to do it with two wheels today on my beautiful KTM 890. We're going to take a scenic drive and we're going to talk a little bit about the permits now needed to visit the Waimea Canyon. And all we need you to do is to relax and unwind. You're on Hawaii Time. Directly behind me is one of those pay stations uh, that you do have to come up and get your permit for. So super easy to use, you can put your credit card into here, just follow the prompts, you'll take your receipt that you get and you place it back into your vehicle and that's going to be your pass. And as you saw the sign as we came in, it is the $10 per car and then $5 per person in that vehicle. And that's going to go to help sustain the park, the bathrooms and everything and the roads leading up to this area. So it's a good thing because for many years it's been free to come up here and uh, well, we just need a little bit of help. The state needs help to maintain it and it's a beautiful location to be and we want everybody to have that opportunity to enjoy it in the future. Now, once you've obtained your pass from any one of the lookouts, that pass is good for the entire day at any lookout here in the Waimea Canyon. So if you're gonna come up and do a hike and you wanted to stop on the way down and check out one of some of the other lookouts, that pass is good to go for the whole day. So you don't have to pay at every station that you come to for each lookout. I just overheard a couple that had asked that question because they did pay at one location and they about ready to pay again at this location. I had to tell them that your pass at one is good for all. So this is the Pu'u Hina Hina lookout. So the second lookout as you're making your way up to the Waimea Canyon or as you're driving up the Waimea Canyon. This lookout is going to be better known for, well, not only the beautiful views that you have just up the little trail behind me, but the canyon trail is at the end of the parking lot. So another location where you can purchase your pass. Again, you take the little ticket, you put it in your dash and you're good to go for the rest of the day. That is going to cover this video on our beautiful scenic drive up to the Waimea Canyon and learning a little bit about those parking slash day passes that you need to acquire if you're going to spend the day up here at the canyon. Now just to cover a few questions because I'm sure you have a couple but I'll, two for sure. Does it cost any money to just drive up to the Waimea Canyon? It doesn't. Uh, however, to visit the lookouts, to do any of the hikes, you are going to need to get that parking pass. 
<laughs> and place that in your vehicle. Again, it is $10 per vehicle and $5 per person in that vehicle. Uh, and second, is it monitored? Is there someone driving around looking for these tickets? Absolutely. At the first lookout at Waimea Lookout, which is the most popular lookout, there is a person that is there all day and they are monitoring, making sure people are getting their passes and placing them in their vehicle. And they are driving around the other lookouts and making sure that those passes are in those vehicles. So keep in mind, one pass is good for the entire park for the entire day. Uh, some of you may be wondering, where the heck am I right now to do the closeout? Well, I will tell you. It's a secret. I'm not going to tell you where this location is. Some places just need to be kept a secret. However, if you are adventurous enough, you will find this location. Does it take an adventure bike to get here? No, it doesn't. It does take a four-wheel drive vehicle, especially after having some heavy rains, but you can find it. Just be mindful this is hunting area, and so you want to make sure that uh, if you're going to be walking through this area, if you do find it, make sure you're wearing bright colored clothing, and you know, perhaps talk a little bit to, to the person that you're with, just kind of letting the hunters know that, hey, there's somebody around here. Now uh, folks, I think that's gonna cover everything that we need to cover today on this video. I truly hope that you enjoyed the scenic drive up here. I hope you got a chance to learn a little bit about those parking passes. And guys, with that said, we leave you with aloha. Always remember to relax and unwind. You're on Hawaii time. Aloha.